Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do a quick love reading for you. Um, if, you if it resonates, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Gemini. Thank you Lord God for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. Alright, so Gemini, how you're coming into the reading, the King of Swords, very nice. Um, laying the law down, you know, um, maybe getting some expertise or expert advice. Um, you could be expert in your field of study, but this is love though. Um, you may be kind of cut off from your emotions right now. You're really operating in logic and what makes sense, how, what adds up. You're calculating somebody's moves or, or somebody's calculating yours or you're being very strategic and methodical in terms of how you move with another person here. Um, you feel like you're 10 steps ahead of this person, okay? And you could be. Um, you could be dealing with the Capricorn, um, <clears throat> Scorpio. Let's see. How is your person coming to the reading? Also, you could be coming up as like the person that just wants to be a bachelor. This is the King of Swords. He's the eternal bachelor. You know, this person will have relationships, but traditional marriage, kids, white picket fence, blah, blah. No, that's not really what they want. Not to say that they won't ever do it, but this person, um, once they do settle down, it takes them a long time and they have high standards. And that could be how you're coming off. You know, you have really high standards and um, you just want everything to be how you want it to be. You know, you got a list of shit and you're checking it twice. You know, you Santa Claus out here. If people not measuring up, it's get the hell on, you know. Um, you also are looking at how somebody is operating. You're really calculating all of this up here. Your person is coming to the reading as the Six of Swords. So I don't know. So you guys cannot be talking. And in the pre-shuffle, you had the Page of Swords in the reverse. So you guys aren't talking. And you're trying to refrain from spying on each other and thinking about each other and looking at each other on social media and asking about each other. But it seems as if you really do want to talk to one another. The Six of Swords is your person. This is how they're coming up. Um, they could want to move on from this, you know, together. Or they could want to just move on from this by themselves. It seems as if they're in a place of like, look, I just need to get over previous hurt from you know, hurt from previous relationships, you know, um, it makes sense to just move on from this, you know, to stay here is what, you know, why would I stay here in, which would, what would be the five of swords, because that's the card before the six of swords, why would I stay here in this um, self-sabotaging energy, in this bad blood that we have between us, I want us to either move on together or move on apart, but we definitely need to move on. So somebody's kind of like rationalizing the moving on. You could be dealing with an Aquarius here or another air sign. It seems like it's real cerebral here. Your your relationship is real intellectual, you know, like a battle of the wits here. And um, the advice for you, Gemini, is, yeah, the Hermit card. Okay, so you need to take some time by yourself and really reflect, look at your own personal philosophy. What do you believe to be true? What have you come up with thus far in your life? What, what, is, what are the principles, the morals, the values that you stand on? Are they getting you the outcome you want? If they're not, then you need to shift you because you're the common denominator in every relationship you've had. It's not everybody else, it's you. So you might need to shift how you're thinking, what you're doing, what you're not doing, what you're not saying, what you are saying. I don't know. You're gonna to have to sit with yourself. That's what the hermit talks about. The hermit says you're looking for answers outside of yourself, but you really know what the answer is because it comes from within. It's already with you, but you're looking for validation for something else or, or another answer from someone else or something else. You don't want to drill down on you and your personal philosophy here and get knowledge about yourself. Therefore, you can be a better person. You know, that takes time. It takes work. It takes effort. People don't want to do that shit. I'm just telling you right now, people do not want to do that shit. People want easy, quick fixes. And when they don't have easy, quick fixes, then it's like, uh, I just rather stay in this low vibration. Anyway, um, 
let's see the outcome here for you, Gemini. Let's see what the outcome is. The King of Wands. So you get two kings showing up here. You and somebody else are showing up in a real masculine way. It could be same sex or it's, um, you know, it's, it's going to be hard for you and this person to come back together because when have you ever seen two kings bow to one another? This doesn't happen. You know, it'll be a war. It'll be a battle. It'll be a fight before I bow down to another king. So it's like somebody has to show up in the feminine energy. I don't know who it will be, but it's like somebody's got to make, somebody's got to concede, you know, make concession for what it is you really want. Again, something about really, somebody wants to be right, wants to be right, wants validation, uh, wants to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, wants to go hand-to-hand, -to -hand, and that is not getting you the outcome you want because it seems as if you really want to be with somebody and what you're doing is not getting you that. So you might need to just question what the hell you're doing. Yeah, here's you, Gemini, at the bottom of the deck, the Eight of Swords. You're all caught up in your mind about just thinking negatively about what's about to happen or what has already happened or you have just given up agency in your life the 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 um the opportunity to change things you're waiting for other people and outside things to change for you or change around you or change because of you but the change doesn't come like that change comes change comes because something changes so you got to change something about you you know or something you're doing um with the Eight of Swords, it's like um, this self-inflicted prison here. I'm just stuck here. And you're really not stuck there. Get out of that negative way of thinking. Some of you have just come or succumbed to the fact that, oh, I'm just, you know, I'm just like this. It's just me. Or um, this might even be like low vibrational, low self-esteem or feeling caged or trapped. You might need to talk to somebody, a counselor, a therapist, psychotherapist. I don't know. But there needs to be... Um, this is all on you, you know. Um, the outcome is King of Wands. Make question your heart's desire also. What are you really desiring? Is it good for you? Is it meant for you? Question how you deal with other people. The King of Wands that organizes the people because he has good people relationships. Um, he's a good delegator because people believe in his his vision, his plan. He has vision. Something about you, Gemini. I hope it resonates. If it does, go over to the website, book there. If it doesn't, let me know it don't because y'all sure do that. Um, all links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Uh, you can always donate to the channel. If you took something from the reading, you can give something back. All links are below. Thank you. Take care.